Hi guys, welcome back to this channel, Feeded Technologies, with me, Tito. Today I'm going to answer a question from Ran Tho Huang of Vietnam, asking about the videos on 2D cohesive elements uh, that I just uploaded today earlier. And he wanted me, he wanted me to show, can you show more about element deletion and does cohesive element work when this beam subject subjected to large compression? I think, yes, I think it should work. Uh, so this is the model, right? Uh, in previous tutorials that I make, this is the loading. Basically, I pull it down and I pull it in the X directions. Now what happens if I make compression instead of doing that? What will that do? And will it compress? So when you do compression, uh, basically, your cohesive element will not fail due to the compression. So, so this development works only when you separate the, the element under tensile. When you compress, what happens is that this cohesive element will act as a contact problem. So, you, you will never have a, a damage you're under compression. But in this case, since we slanted the model a little bit, there's a possibility, I'm not sure, there's a possibility that it will slide a little bit. So what I mean is that you have this, and you have this, uh, for example, sorry. There, when you do a compression, I'm, I'm I think there will be a slight uh, sliding, and this sliding, your cohesive elements will make O2 problems, O2 fracture. So if you go here, when the this is the first direction or second direction here in the tangential direction, which is this 90. There could be a, a delaminations, not delamination, a crack may occur due to this shear, but of course it will not happen due to these normal modes. But, but let's see, let's try. Uh, it's a good question from Hong. Thank you very much for the question. I appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, where is it? Yeah, it's minus 10, I think. And I will compress them. If it's not big enough, we will add later again until it create a shear crack, shear dominated crack. And we don't need to do anything else. Here. Compress. Okay, I will make parallelization for. And that's it. Uh, submit. Let's see what is going to happen. So in the meantime, I will pause this video to make a shorter video in YouTube. Okay. Yeah, I think the simulation completed here. Completed. Let's see the result. Yeah, as as I as I predicted, there is shear there. Yeah. So basically. There is some kind of sliding. Yeah, so your element is fragile, you start to delay it, and then in that case, in that case, you need to define a contact between this guy and this guy. Uh, in, in this video, I didn't define any contact because uh, I was just simply doing a tensile test. So I was not expecting that there will be a, a contact, but I expect that they will separate, right? Because my loading is a tensile. But when you're doing compression, of course, it will create a, a how you call it? A shear dominated crack. But then when the, the crack is large enough, the sliding large enough, 
will have problem in contact pro in contact because I didn't define any contact here. That's why you see that part A can interpenetrate to part B, so on. So yeah, but uh, but of course, in large compression it should work. Uh, just need to add more uh, how you call it contact problem, right? Especially when the sliding is way way bigger. Or maybe we can increase this, uh, how you call it, this elastic too. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it can uh, prevent the penetration, especially when the damage already occurs. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Pause the video first. Yeah, or come back. Now it's completed. Let's check the result. Yeah, it's still the same thing. So you really need to define a cohesive, uh, no, a, co a cohesive, a contact surface, contact behavior between, between how you call it, between This mesh before okay. I can see the cohesive element here. So I got it. So if I want to make it correctly under large compression, you guys need to go to the interaction and define a contact between this face and this face. So in case the element has been deleted and you do compression, they can still touch each other. Okay, guys, good luck. I hope it's cleared that up. Your question. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.